Shout out to the KJ fam and you're rocking with Kristen and Jamil. You guys, today we are going to be making ceviche. Shout out to Zaddy Chungchuk and his boys. We got this idea from them. They recently made ceviche and it looked so, so good. I've personally never had this dish before. Jamil's had it once or twice. Basically what it is, for those of you who don't know, it's a South American dish originally uh, created in Peru. You can make it with raw fish or shrimp. It's actually a very healthy dish, very fresh ingredients low calorie you can build up the calories by eating it with tortilla chips or on a tostada things like that so we're gonna go inside of Safeway right now grab all the ingredients and then bring it home whip it up and review it for you so come on in with us Okay fam, we got the groceries. It really wasn't even a lot of ingredients at all. It was mainly in the uh, vegetables and fruit section, but we're super excited. The ingredients look delicious. They did not have fresh cilantro. I know, it's a travesty. I don't know what is up, like all the cilantro is gone. So we had to get like the dry freeze cilantro. So it's not gonna be like as cilantro fresh, unfortunately, but hopefully we'll still get that flavor going. So we're super excited. And we're gonna put these in the car right now, head on home and put it all together. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey fam, we just got back from the store. I did a quick wardrobe change. I'm gonna tell you all the ingredients we got from the store so you know what to use. And then we're going to start putting it all together and I will tell you the portions then. But for now, it's just the ingredients. So we got a fresh Roma tomato right here. Ooh, nice and ripe. You need limes, uh, some cucumbers. Look how fresh all these look. An avocado, yummy. Anything with avocado, I love. Okay, we have cilantro again. We couldn't get fresh cilantro, but this was the next best thing. Hopefully it'll still taste good, but ideally fresh cilantro. Uh, a jalapeno, a red onion, lemons, shrimp, orange juice, and then last but not least, to eat the ceviche with, you can either do uh, tortilla chips or you can put them on a tostada. So we're gonna see what we wanna do. Maybe we'll do both. Okay, so that's it. Look how simple it is, you guys. Basically, the idea of all of these ingredients, you basically chop everything up and you put it all together. Um, the only kind of complicated, longer process of this is we need to cure the shrimp. And how we do that is we're gonna cover it in lemon and lime juice for a little while before we put everything together. I'm gonna start on that process right now and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. So let's get started. Let's make this ceviche and uh, we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys in one second. So what we have here is we have two pounds of shrimp. It's actually a little bit less uh, because they didn't have two pounds at the store, but it's about 1.8 pounds right here of raw, de-veined, de-shelled shrimp, okay? So basically you can get the shrimp that's already super small and tiny and already naturally bite-sized pieces. I don't love the super small cocktail shrimp, but I wanna get larger shrimp. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these into bite-sized pieces for ceviche. You're gonna need to make three-fourths cup of lime juice with these fresh limes, and you're gonna need to make three-fourths cup of lemon juice with these lemons, and we're gonna start curing the shrimp. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we chopped the shrimp all up and we did bite-sized pieces how we want them 
We're actually gonna do them a little chunkier because I think we are gonna use the tostada to put everything on the tostada at the end. But if you wanna do smaller pieces, that's totally fine. If you wanna keep the shrimp intact and whole, that's fine too, whatever you wanna do. Um, so again, we're gonna do three fourths cup of lime juice, three fourths cup of lemon juice. We're gonna put it all in here and then we're gonna refrigerate this bowl anywhere from 30 minutes. Uh, the process can sometimes take up to eight hours. I don't think it's gonna take that long. The idea of this is that you are gonna to wanna to cure the shrimp, okay? So the shrimp is gonna to wanna to turn pink um, and look, I guess, a little cooked, even though it's not cooked, but it's cured, okay? So we're gonna put the uh, juices on here, put it in the fridge, and then um, we'll be right back. I was wrong, so it's actually one fourth cup of lemon juice, fresh squeezed, and three fourths cup of lime juice, fresh squeezed. Uh, we're gonna add the lemon juice first. And then we'll add the lime. Fresh squeezed lime, look at that. So, there we go. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure this is covered. Um, I can add a little bit more lemon juice, and I think I'm going to, um, just to make sure it's fully saturated in the juices. So I'm just gonna put it a little bit more. I don't think it's gonna hurt it. Perfect. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is cover this bowl and then you're gonna put it in the refrigerator, like I said, for 30 minutes to up to eight hours. You wanna make sure that this shrimp is pink and looking cooked, or cured, I should say. So we're gonna start dicing um, all the vegetables while the shrimp is being cured. I think I mentioned it was anywhere from 30 minutes to eight hours. It's not eight hours of curing, it's 30 minutes to two hours of curing, depending on how big your shrimp is. Okay, so we're gonna check on it in a little bit. So basically, we are going to dice up some tomatoes, some cucumbers, jalapenos, and onions, um, and wants one cup of tomatoes, so we're gonna just dice this whole thing up. Okay fam, so we let the shrimp cure for one and a half hours. It definitely looks ready. It is pink, opaque, and that's what it's supposed to be. It's not that gray, um, uns I don't know, whatever the word is. It's not gray anymore, it's pink. So it's ready, it's ready to go. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna add the shrimp to all of our delicious fresh veggies. And then we're also going to add a one third cup of orange juice and mix it all together. And we're good to go, we're gonna be ready. I realized though, I didn't tell you the um, portions for all the veggies, but the recipe will be in the description box, either below or above, depending if you're on Facebook or YouTube. So you can look at the um, ingredients and the directions there. Let's go and put it all together, okay? So we're gonna add this to this. We're gonna put it in one big bowl, okay? Here we go. And then we're gonna add a little bit of orange juice. And what I hear that the orange juice does, again, it's just a third of a cup. What I hear this does is it's, it cuts the um, sourness of all the lime and the lemon. It makes it just a little bit sweeter. So there we go. And that's that. And then I'm gonna mix it all up. 
this should be good to go, you guys. Fresh ceviche. What do you think, hun? It looks really good. It does look really good. It's very good. Man, I hope it's good. It'll be good. I didn't know it had liquid in it. Yes, it does. Well, I mean, I knew there was liquid in it. <laughs> Jamil thinks that there should be no liquid in here. I don't know. <laughs> it's not that I don't think there should be liquid. I just didn't know there was liquid. Yes, there is liquid on the bottom of ceviche. <laughs> Anyways, look at that, you guys. Super fresh. Again, we couldn't do the fresh cilantro. I'm sure it would taste different. How do we have fresh cilantro? But I still think it's going to be delicious. So, you guys, this is it. Fresh shrimp ceviche. So, hopefully, uh, you guys know how to make it now. And we're going to... Um, go ahead and eat this. So join us on the next video as we mukbang this and review this for you and give you an honest review of what we think about uh, the shrimp ceviche. And we're going to rate it on a scale of one to 10. Okay, fam, today is the next day. We did not have time to review it for you uh, mm -hmm. when I made it. However, we're trying it right now. So it's been soaking in all the juices and flavors. Hopefully it'll be even more delicious. I think it will. Um, I, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. You know, what's interesting is usually when you put take avocado and slice it, and you put it in a refrigerator, mm -hmm. usually it turns brown really fast. Yes. But because it was soaking in lemon and lime and orange juice, it, I think it preserved it. Like I think so too. It actually stayed, it kept its color. So I'm ready to try it. Let's try it. Are you ready? And we're gonna let you know if you should make this recipe. I know. What's nice about this too, um, like you said, it's really healthy and it's like a, I guess it's kind of a nice summertime vibe, right? Yeah, it's super summery. Yeah. Very delicious. Again, it has tomatoes, Mm -hmm. um, Thank you. Shrimp. Yeah, let you guys know. Shrimp, tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, jalapenos, and oregano. All right. And then some juices. Lemon, lime, and a little orange juice. By the way, we could have did it with the um, tostada, but we were just like, let's just do it with chips. Do it with chips. All right. Here we go. You ready? One, two, two three. three. Hmm. It's okay. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm having a t I told you so moment. <laughs> Are you? Yes. <laughs> no, it's good. Is um, it? Let me try one more. Let me try one more. Hold up, guys. I don't know <laughs> how I feel about it. Okay. Let me try one more thing, because okay. I know what's wrong. I think I know what's wrong, too. I know what's what, what's throwing us off, I should say. Yeah. It's not bad. The freshness is there. There's a lot of good things here, but there's something going on. It's shrimpy. Mm-hmm. Okay. One, there's not enough cilantro. Um, to be honest, fresh cilantro should have been. If we had fresh cilantro, that's really what we're missing. That's not what the problem is, though. No, that's not the problem. Uh, the problem is there's not enough salt in here. There's not oh, enough flavor. I didn't add salt. Oh, that's why. Let's add salt. That's what it is. I don't think that's. <laughs> for me though but that's let's add problem. salt i forgot to add salt that's 100 percent the problem is it 110 percent the problem you're supposed to add salt oh man i hella forgot it's all good for me it like tasted shrimpy mm -mm. it's salt. it needs salt because the shrimp's done when were you supposed to add salt like you know like <laughs> like um, when it's done you when it's add done salt to, salt to taste it says oh man just Here we go. Don't over salt it though. Okay. But it needs a lot of salt. Does it? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll mix. It needs salt for sure. Yeah? So you think that's the issue? I am positive that's the issue. Okay, here, do you want to put a little more salt or no? Yeah. Okay. And we'll just taste it and see if that makes a difference. Oh, okay. Boy. Leave the salt here just to Yeah. Keep. Okay. I guarantee you that's all. That's really what it needs. Really? Okay. Let's try Let's try mixing it again. Okay. And try mixing it up just a little bit more. I forgot an ingredient. Oh, man. I should have made this, guys. No, just joking. No, you did good. I just think, I think with the salt, and then go ahead, you can try it first. Oh, thank you. It needs, it just doesn't have, yeah, it doesn't have salt. That's really what it is. 
It's bland. It's nice because it tastes fresh. Like, it tastes really, really fresh. Mm -hmm. But it's just there's not enough really solid flavor in there. And that's, I'm positive that's because there's not enough salt. I'll wait for you. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, let's try it. Now that we have a little bit of salt, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Already, that's a little better. Already. So here's what we have to do. We actually took this out of the big um, glass bowl that we had mm -hmm. to put it in here. We need to dump it back in, mm -hmm. pour some salt, mm -hmm. and then do it. Because it's already... It absolutely needs Just that little bit of flavor was way better. I agree. That right there made it, yeah, that much better. Because it's not as shrimpy now. Mm-hmm. And keep in mind, these chips that we have are kind of a lower... They're like a lower calorie chip, and they don't have as much salt in it. Uh -huh. So that's really bland. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with just, with mm -hmm. this and that. Mm-hmm. Okay. But it tastes way better with the salt. Mm -hmm. Honestly, off the bat, there was something wrong. <laughs> so, that's okay. So what do you give it on a 1 to 10? Cause... Um, it's, see, it's not really fair because if we had, I'll put it like this. If we had the salt from the beginning, I would have given this probably a, I'd have probably given it like a 7.5. Mm -hmm. I, I would definitely say the cilantro really made it not... That messed us up. If we had more cilantro, guys, this would have actually... If fresh cilantro, this would have been a... Honestly, this probably would have been like an 8 or a 9. Mm -hmm. Because you don't really have the cilantro flavor in there. Um, but with that, the salt too. I mm -hmm. mean, mm -hmm. I'm eating this. This is like a 5. Mm -hmm. It's like a 5. I like the freshness. Mm -hmm. I, it's healthy. It tastes good. But it's like a 5. Yeah, so you guys, we tried to get fresh cilantro from the store. They did not have it. Mm -hmm. We should have went to other stores to try. Because, of course, having there's nothing like fresh cilantro. Mm -hmm. For those of you who like cilantro. How do you feel? We do. Mm -hmm. Well, sorry about that. I feel like my tail is in between my legs. I know. You did such a good job, though. I'm so glad. Putting it together. I just think what it was is it needs, it needs the salt now. So we're going to add the salt and eat it later. Mm. But... To be honest, I mean, I like it as a side, you know? I mean, obviously, this is a side dish anyways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, it'll taste great when we actually make some other food with it. It's going to be good, but we got to add salt. That's the least we can do. Yeah. Is add some salt mm -hmm. to that. Right? To me, this recipe is neither here nor there. Like, I'm not like, it's, this is going to be forgettable. Yeah. I enjoy using fresh ingredients. I do, well, except for the cilantro. I think we need fresh cilantro. Yes. We do need salt. But even with those two things, you know, I wouldn't boast about my, this recipe. Mm. Or at least the way I made it. I know other people make ceviche with different fish. Other people have different recipes. So I'm not ruling out ceviche in general. But yeah. this one, it's all right. Um, I think that's true. I think you did a great job putting it together, prepping it, following the, the recipe and everything like that. Obviously, we missed the salt. but And, the, of course, the cilantro was all bad. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I don't think this was the best recipe either because mm -hmm. there wasn't, I don't think there was really enough seasoning in it. I mean, maybe with enough cilantro and, and salt, it would make a difference. But I feel like I've had ceviche before where it was it, it was flavored a lot differently. It was a little more spicy. There are ceviches that and are different. Like yeah. some have to, like a more of a tomato base. Yeah. So would you recommend this recipe or would you recommend this to other people? No. No? You wouldn't recommend it at all? I actually really love ceviche. Yeah. And you're willing to have it yeah. in all forms. For then sure. it's fine, but yeah, it's okay. I would say try it if you if you have the ingredients at home, or if you you know are really good and you know how to hook it up. <laughs> I say try it. It's good, fresh wise, um, but it just needs some more salt. Let us know what we should have done. Because again, no. we used a recipe, but let us know what we maybe should have added or taken away. That was a good bite mm. because I had a lot of salt in there. Did it? <laughs> good. No, the salt for sure you needed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that was good that you mm -hmm. recognized that. So, oh, okay. Would I give it a 5 out of 10? No, maybe we didn't, but it's a 5 out of 10. 
Yeah. It was neither here nor there. That's mm-hmm. fine. I say five out of ten. I'm just disappointed because you know you spent a long time making something. You want mm-hmm. it to be delicious and out of this world. It's true. Mm-hmm. So. Well, it is out of this world. It's gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just got to add some salt to it and fix it up a little bit. But we're gonna have it as a side for our other dishes that we'll eat during the week. That sounds good. All right, you guys. Oh, don't get these chips either if you're gonna eat it with this. <laughs> by the way, get some real chips because this 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 isn't this isn't it. <laughs> these are great if you do like nachos with them because you can't taste just the chip. Mm-hmm. Don't do those. You know what I'd like to do? We need to go to um, a Mexican restaurant. Get and their get some chips. Ceviche. Yes. Oh, yeah. You know, and then see a Latin restaurant. You know, and then <laughs> see the difference because I guarantee you, there's a big difference. Oh, no question. There's gonna yeah. be a big difference. Yeah. <laughs> there's gonna be good. And, and all. But you did great. You did great. You really did. Thank I'm you. sorry to. It's okay. Yeah. Sorry to be the tough critic on you. But... No, I'm a, no, I'm I'm not a fan. I'm glad we keep it real. That's all yeah, good. Not, like, not everything's gonna be a hit. True. That's true. Okay, let's make me feel better. (laughs) Let Kristen have it. Let her know. She's no, it's okay. It is what it is. Hey, it happens. Remember my sushi? At least this is eatable. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah Jamil put, uh, what did you put in the sushi? It, it was, was KFC chicken and, bra- and and cauliflower rice in sushi. Mm. Yeah, no. Listen, oh, you guys, I, I tried. I tried and that was, was terrible. So yeah, watch that video if you haven't seen it. Okay, you guys, right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, share, and just carry. Let your friends family know what the Kate and J fam are doing. And until next time, guys, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night, whatever time it is out there. And we'll see you in our next video. Mm. Peace. Wow, peace out, Trout.